Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday and we're just gonna be going out for a little walk, coming home and doing a bunch of work. So nothing really all that exciting. I don't have a ton planned this week, but I thought that I would bring you guys along just again to follow me for a normal week living in New Zealand. The sun is shining. It doesn't look too windy out today. So let's go outside and get some sun. Good to get outside. Whew. Just feeling a little bummed out this morning. Internet trolls on YouTube comment sections, I guess, and getting a little wrapped up in it, getting a little in my head about it. So just trying to get outside and actually participate in the real world. <laughs> just sit down have a little chat for a minute here so I've been feeling a little off this week just in general I mean there's a lot of really horrible things going on in the world if you don't know Israel is at war right now with Palestine and I've been watching a lot of the news which is of course super depressing and it's just the reality of what's happening over there and that's not really what I'm feeling so overwhelmed with, I guess. It's just this feeling that the world is so incredibly divided right now. Like you're either on this side or this side. You're either against immigration, against people coming together, against freedom of speech, freedom of religion, or you're for it. It seems like more so than ever before, the world is so divided in the middle and people are just completely unwilling to hear the other side of it to actually open up and talk about the problems that are causing these views. And it just breaks my heart. Like my outlook for the future is so low and so negative for our world just as a whole with climate change and everything on top of that. Um, it's just a feeling of hopelessness with not really feeling like there's anything I can personally do. I mean, all I can do is chat online with you guys about what's going on and hope that maybe some of you feel the same way. Some of you feel like we're going in the wrong direction just as a freaking civilization. And it's just hard for me to let it go. It's hard for me to turn a blind eye, to look the other way and not talk about it because it's the reality of our life and our world and ugh, you know? And it's okay to feel that way, by the way. It's okay to feel not 100% and to feel sad at times. Getting outside for me is one of the biggest things that I try to do when I'm not feeling the best and I do think it's helping today. Honestly, I woke up in a pretty good mood and then I just went on YouTube and read some pretty nasty comments and it's kind of ruined my day a little bit, which sucks because I wish it didn't get to me that much, but we're gonna try to turn this day and this week around. So let's continue our walk in the beautiful sunshine. <laughs> on the walk along the beach and I just felt like it wasn't enough. So we are walking up to Paddy's Knob viewpoint again. This is one of my favorite spots to walk up to. It's such a nice view of the bay down there and it's a little bit more of a workout with the incline. Sweating out all the bad energy today. Let's do this. place to go and chill it's this little like hammock seat thing at 
Patty's knob. And uh, I feel like I've just been cured of all my troubles <laughs> by lying in this and looking up at the beautiful sky. This is the life. That was a lovely little break. And now I'm heading back home down this little pathway that I have not been down yet because the winds really picked up and I haven't eaten yet today. It's like 1.30, almost two. I made it back home for some lunch. We've got some apples and yogurt and peanut butter. So a nice little healthy lunch. I don't really know what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I might edit, I might just chill. We'll see you in a little bit. Morning guys and welcome to Wednesday. I didn't end up filming at all yesterday because it was really rainy out and I just sat at home and edited. So really nothing exciting. But today it's gorgeous, it's sunny, completely clear blue skies. I'm just doing some laundry at the minute, but once the wash cycle is done, I'm going to head out and walk over to the grocery store just to pick up a few things. I might pop into some other shops while I'm out as well. Just wanna get outside today, go for like a nice long walk. Let's head out. We're about halfway there now so this time we're going over the hill instead of going down the coast the water looks perfect for maybe a little kayak a little later today just about at the prince's drive lookout spot which is an area i like to walk up to every now and again it has a beautiful sweeping view of the bay so i think we'll stop there and take in the views for a little bit before heading on down the hill on the other side starting to bloom. All the trees have these little buds on them. And it just looks so amazing. Lots of vehicles out and about and some really beautiful homes, but I haven't walked down this side of the hill yet. You really get such a beautiful view of the city. home on the bus which was nice didn't have to walk all the way back but I think I'm gonna put these groceries away really quick and get the kayak out on the water because it looks absolutely amazing it's getting really close to high tide so this is like the perfect time to go and there's a bunch of people out on paddle boards and stuff so I feel like why not but I wanted to show you guys what I got from the grocery store I do like to include little grocery hauls in these vlogs. So I spent $28. It's a regular loaf of bread. A little salad kit that we're gonna have tonight. Block of cheese, we go through cheese like crazy, like one of these a week, I would say. An onion, some garlic, which was expensive. This was like $2.50. Pasta sauce and a little package of potatoes. 28 bucks right there. All right, let's get changed and hit the water. I did it, made it across the street to the beach. It's so gorgeous out. You can see the mountains in the distance with the snowy peaks and it's just fabulous. This is the first time I've been on the kayak by myself. Um, I was curious how it would work because it's like a two person inflatable kayak. So far so good, this is amazing. Getting pretty close to this little island over here. I think I might try to beach up on it if it's not too rocky and uh, take a little break. I'm over in like the, I don't know, shipping port section now. 
like you can see over there there's a pretty big ship at the docks and um, there's a pretty big like wave break right there all the beautiful homes on the hill and then we came from way over there I kind of do want to go around the island and see the other side so I think I might try to do that try to like get through this wave section here I'm just gonna have to like hammer it pretty quick the tides taking me really fast so um, all right I will see you on the other side of this island I guess the water is actually not that cold like I kind of wish I was wearing like my swimsuit I just have like shorts and a tank top on but it's like your own little private beach on this side definitely gonna have to come back with Donovan and uh, have a little like picnic and have our own little private beach area love this and then you can actually go up like into the bushes out on the water in our crappy little $200 inflatable kayak. Well worth it. Hey guys, welcome to Thursday. I'm gonna head out in just a little bit, go for a walk up to a store called League of Brewers. So for my birthday, Donovan got me a gift card at this homebrew shop. I've been talking about doing homebrewing, like homebrewing beer for quite a long time. So now I'm actually gonna get to go and pick out some stuff. I'm super excited. So I'm just going to get ready now and we're going to walk up to the store. Hey guys, happy Friday. So sorry I did not end up filming when I actually went into the brewery store yesterday. It was like not the type of store where you go in and walk around, you just walk up to the counter and then like they have to get everything for you. So it would have just been like kind of awkward to film that. But I thought that I would show you guys what I got and I'm not gonna be brewing this week. I will do it next week. So stay tuned for some home brewing content to come. And then today I've just been editing this video that you're watching right now. And I need to go and pack because Donovan and I are heading off to Wellington for a couple of nights. Stay tuned for those adventures to come. Well, let's just go through all the stuff I got. So I got a couple of these. These are carboys. They fit one gallon in here, which I think is like four liters. So we got two of these. Um, got a hydrometer, got like a little spoon, these mesh bags that the green goes into. This is a auto siphon, I believe, airlocks, sanitizer. So I'm not gonna go through like every single item because you'll see it in an upcoming video, but spent 225 New Zealand dollars and I had a gift card from Donovan for 150. So spent like 75 New Zealand dollars for this whole setup, which includes like all the ingredients I need to make this first beer. So my whole thing with this is going to be experimenting with non-alcoholic beers. So I have like a method in mind that I want to try and we're just going to be going through this together in a future video to see how it turns out. So stay tuned for that, but very excited because I've wanted to do this for quite a long time. I have brewed cider in the past just once. So I've like used all this equipment before and kind of know a little bit about it. But uh, yeah, super exciting. So let's get packing for Wellington. The lighting in here is really not the best, but the weather in Wellington is supposed to be your typical spring weather. It's going to be between like 14 and 17 degrees Celsius. So I'm packing like warmer clothes for this. The last time we were there, I did not have the right clothing. I was freezing my butt off because it was so windy and so rainy and so cold. So this time packing a little bit better. We're taking the ferry over to Wellington, even though it's only a 40 minute flight from Nelson. The flight prices were like $600 round trip each and we're paying like 120 New Zealand dollars for the ferry there and back and we'll actually get to see it in the daytime this time. So I can't wait to show you guys that whole experience. We'll definitely be a video going through that whole ferry ride. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys really soon in the next one. Bye.